Hi guys, so this is a tutorial on how to install your um, network, your wireless network adapter. Um, the TP Link WN722N. So, what it looks like. Uh, this is for version 2 or 3. So, I've got a version 3. And I'm going to plug that in. I'm just using VirtualBox to run the operating system and it's going to be Kali Linux 2021.3 um, uh, So we can go ahead and start that Yeah, I've already installed the operating system. Um, yeah, very easy to do. We'll probably make a video about that. Just got default login, Kali. Alright. So the first thing you want to do is sudo apt update sorry sudo apt update and then sudo apt cool once that's done Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead. While that's done, you can just clear. And there's a few things you have to install. sudo apt get install build essential. There we go. Build essential get DKMS and the next headers. And here, this uname dash r is just uh, your version of Linux. So you press enter, and it's done ready. Okay, now the driver we're going to be using is from Killebec 333, so RTL8188FU. And to get this downloaded on your computer, I'm not going to press enter because I've got it. But you, all you do is say git clone and then https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash killerbeck triple three forward slash rtl 8188 fu. Press enter. And then I'll download it to your to your root. Okay, and then to install the file, I'm going to type in sudo dkms add. There we go. And enter. Next, sudo dkms build. Okay, rtl8188 fu port slash 1.0. And enter. Okay, and then sudo dkms install. Cool. And there's just one more line you have to run. sudo cp point forward slash rtl8188 fu forward slash firmware forward slash rtl8188 fu fw dot bin space forward slash lib 
forward slash firmware forward slash RTL Wi Fi forward slash. Okay. So I'm going to put this below the video for you to follow. Now, there are a couple extra things, a few fixes you can do uh, to enable the power light on the adapter. But if you go to the GitHub at the bottom, you'll have exactly how to install and the fixes, and then also how to uninstall. So you should be able to uh, put this into monitor mode now. So if you go iwconfig, Yeah, you can see it's in manage mode. Okay, so monitor mode, very simple. IW config, check okay, all mode is managed. So, what you want to do is run sudo game on ng and check kill. So, kill any computing processes. Now you want to start monitor mode, sudo m on ng, start, and then ylan table. Cool, let's do iwconfig and check if it's in monitor mode. Yep, it is. And this means we can run uh, error dump. and scan wireless networks around us. Cool. Pseudo error dump YLAN zero. There you go.